फाइव सेकेंड्स Swami Vivekanand in a letter to Swami Ramakrishna Nand had said there is no chance for the welfare of the world unless the condition of women is improved it is not possible for a bird to fly on one wing this government believes that we can make progress with greater women's participation in india's growth story particularly in the rural economy gramin arth vyavastha the role of women is a very sweet story this government wishes to encourage and facilitate this role of women gender analysis of the budget aimed at examining the budgetary allocation through a gender lens has been in place for over a decade i propose to form a broad based committee with government and private stakeholders to evaluate and suggest action for moving forward there is no segment of human life where the contribution of women is not significant this government firmly believes that the socio economic transformation that is taking place particularly in the last decade indian women's role and leadership is distinct the recent elections have shown record turnout of women voters at par with men we also have a record 78 women mps here this reinforces our approach of going beyond just women centric policy making to building women lead initiatives and movements this government has supported and encouraged women entrepreneurship through various schemes such as mudra stand up india and the self help group movement in order to further encourage women enterprise i propose to expand the women shg interest subvention program to all districts furthermore for every verified woman shg member having a jandhan bank account an overdraft of 5000 shall be allowed one woman in every shg will also be made eligible for a loan up to 1 lakh under the mudra scheme india's soft power is appreciated in so many different ways some simple examples in the last 3 years on international yoga day yoga has been practiced in large numbers in 1992 countries around the world yoga has been practiced in large numbers mahatma gandhi's favorite bhajan was sung by the respective lead artist in 40 countries the annual bharat ko jano quiz competition is sought after as an event to participate by not only nris but also several foreigners i propose to consider issuing aadhar card for non resident indians also so to facilitate them i propose to launch a mission which will integrate our traditional artisans and their creative products with global markets wherever necessary we shall obtain patents and geographical indicators for them with this aim for the first time in this august house i declare that we will launch a mission of linking creative industry with the economy and wherever it requires protecting intellectual property rights taking it to the national and international market front 
to give further impetus to India's growing influence and leadership in the international community. Government decided to open Indian embassies and high commissions abroad in countries where India does not have a resident diplomatic mission as yet. Accordingly, in March 2018, government approved opening of 18 new Indian diplomatic missions in Africa. Five embassies have already been opened in several African countries, big and small all over there. Government intends to open another four new embassies in the year 2019-20. This will not only increase the footprint of India's overseas presence, but also enable us to provide better and more accessible public services, especially to the local Indian community in these countries. In line with our ancient wisdom, India has always pursued a policy of economic cooperation with countries through bilateral and regional coordination. Indian Development Assistance Scheme provides concessional financing for projects and contributes to infrastructure development and capacity building in the recipient developing countries. Mindful of our position as the sixth largest economy, we will look at alternative development models which include private sector equity, multilateral financing, contributions from corporates, non-residents, etc. I propose to revamp the ideas scheme during the current financial year. The government is developing 17 iconic tourism sites into world-class tourists destinations and to serve as a model for other tourism sites. The iconic tourism sites would enhance visitor experience which would lead to increase visits of both domestic and international tourists at these destinations. With the objective of preserving rich tribal cultural heritage, a digital repository is developed where documents, folk songs, photos and videos regarding their evolution, place of origin, lifestyle, architecture, education level, traditional art, folk dances and other growth details of the tribes in India are stored. The repository will further be enriched and strengthened. Financial gains from cleaning of the banking system are now employ visible. NPAs of commercial banks have reduced by over 1 lakh crore over the last year record recovery of over 4 lakh crore due to IBC and other measures has been effected over the last four years. Provision coverage ratio is now at its highest in seven years.